Hello, Stanford Christian Church. Our midweek focus for tonight is Galatians chapter 2, verses 19 through 20. It reads, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. When we become believers in Jesus, when, when He gives us a new life in Him, we die to ourselves. This means that our ways, our desires, our preferences die and are replaced by Jesus's. Now we want what He wants. We value what He does. We replace ourselves with Him. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. This is taught all throughout the New Testament. Think about what Jesus says to His disciples when He calls them. He says, follow me. That means don't go your way anymore, but come mine. Walk where I walk, go where I go. And another time He says, if you will follow me, you must take up your cross and follow me. Remember, a cross is not a piece of feel-good jewelry. It is a method of execution. At another time, Jesus says, if you want to find your life, then lose it. But if you want to lose your life, then try to save it. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. When we believe in Him, God makes us one with Jesus. In a sense, we are dissolved into one. We die to ourselves and take on His ways, His righteousness, His sonship to God. It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. What have you not given up? Where are you not focused on Him? Where are you holding on to your own preferences, desires, and ways? To follow Him, we have to give up some things. Now, instead of just looking out for our own interests, we must put the interest of God and the interests of others before ourselves. There are so many places that we can still be holding Jesus away. Maybe it's in the church we fight for our preferences instead of fighting for others to know Jesus. Maybe it's in the way you spend your money. You spend it for your own pleasures and do not sufficiently give to God and to others. Maybe it is the way you use your time. You only concern yourself with your hobbies and your relaxation and do not serve others. Maybe it is in your anger and your grudges and your refusal to forgive because they disrespected you. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave Himself for me. To be with Jesus is to be a child of God, to be the righteousness of God, to be the prince, a prince or a princess in the kingdom of God, to love God most and to love others as yourself. Thanks, guys. Have a great week.